Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we are back here once again, returning with Overwatch live commentaries. Very excited to continue to do live commentaries with you guys. Zenyatta is looking like a straight up boss with all those balls around his head. Um, really, me doing live commentaries is an amazing opportunity for me to practice on being a little bit more spontaneous and creative and imaginative during my live commentary sessions. You guys know I do a lot of my commentary on the fly. I think of an idea, I build a structure to it in my head, and then I go ahead and shoot it, but those are discussion pieces. And I don't feel there's enough humor thrown into those things. And of course, I mean good humor that makes sense. Occasionally, I make myself laugh, and hopefully I make you laugh. Live commentaries are the opportunity to just hone and practice my skills, because practice is everything. You cannot become the master if you don't practice. So that's a little bit of what live commentaries are about. And of course, just having fun playing Overwatch and trying to talk while I do it. So let's hop right into a quick play before I continue to ramble anymore. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I am just fueled right now by life. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you have those mornings where it's like it's 1 o'clock, I don't have work tomorrow, and I'm just like, go, 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 go. I just want to make videos. I want to put out stuff. I want to have fun. I don't know. I get those weird moments. Like, there, there's no doubt that I really enjoy doing YouTube, but some nights more so than others, I'm just like on a high, you know, and I just want to make content because I'm really into the idea of it. Unfortunately, it looks like we're in a skirmish here, so I guess we'll bumble around a little bit with some of the heroes while we wait. Uh, I've actually become really into Soldier 76 recently. I didn't play him at all during the closed beta or the open beta. I, I did not play him once. I just always went with some other hero. And then, you know, come to find out, like, when your team needs somebody really hard-hitting, he's kind of the go-to guy for that situation. He's a bit of a badass. He really lays on the damage. He can land critical shots with his rifle, which is automatic. And, of course, you have the ability to sprint. That helps you get into combat that much more quickly uh, when you really need that. And I feel like I'm often that player. <laughs> not saying I'm first in, first out. Not like, you know, foe. Uh, FIFO or anything like that, but just sometimes I feel like I'm like, you know, making that final push to try and support my team. So let's see if we're going to end up playing as a support here or a tank. I feel like that's going to happen. Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll run with Reinhardt for now. That's always a good start, I guess. We'll see if anybody else jumps into the healer position. There we go. We got a Lucio. Good combination with Reinhardt. Him and I can rock and roll together. There's nothing that an old battle-hardened warrior enjoys more than some modern electronic music bouncing away in his eardrums. <laughs> I've really been appreciating what the heroes say to each other at the start of the matches. There's a lot of fun stuff. I've been really trying to pick up the different bits and pieces of the dialogue because they definitely reveal elements of the game's background story. Um, you know, for example, I had a match where I was playing as 76, and my buddy was playing as Reaper, and 76 turns to Reaper and says, I thought you were dead. And Reaper is like, it didn't stick. <laughs> I'm just like, what? It didn't stick. That's one way to say that you didn't die. It, just, it didn't stick. Um, you know, definitely sort of creepy Reaper-ish awesome, awesomeness in that saying there. I dug that. Hello. Hello. Um, I actually had a really amazing match earlier tonight with my buddy, uh, where we were on B in, I think, Temple of Anubis, and we were about to win. We pretty much had held it the length of the entire match, just spectacularly well done. I was actually playing a really solid Tracer, or was I playing a 76? I, I was playing 76, is what I was playing. I was playing a really solid 76. And we ended up losing because as we were trying to push back to our location to recap it at the end of the match, they had just gotten on it. They only had like three people on it. You know, a bunch of us were coming out of the spawn after we got killed by a D.Va ult, which was really well placed on their D.Va's part. And our May deploys an ice wall. <laughs> our May deploys an ice wall, seriously, right in front of the only way where we could get through with about a fraction of a second left. And we lose because of it. It was the worst thing ever. It was slightly comical. And I have to admit, it revealed one of my favorite things about Overwatch, and that is I find myself, um, you know, able to have quite a lot of fun with the game, even when we're getting thrashed. So, let's uh, focus on the match a little bit here, because things are definitely getting hectic. We've got a lot of uh, firepower going down here. Definitely not doing too well in the healing front. Could use some health if somebody could throw it up to me. Thank you, Lucio. 
I'd really like to get this May down, but we're getting frozen and trapped constantly. Oh, there we go. Tearing through that shield. That's what's up, man. Uh, it's one of the things you have to recognize with Reinhardt Shield is that it doesn't actually fully protect everything from damage. There are still plenty of instances where you can take quite a beating from that. Okay, we got his steel trap down. We gotta be careful here. I'd like to get in here and see what we can do. Oh, that's a trap. Somebody got the heals. Somebody got the heals. Nobody's got the heals. <laughs> okay. We actually have a really good setup. I had my super. I was hoping I could go ahead and do a charge, at least pin somebody against the car, and then throw down my ult. And that could have been pretty sick play there, but it wasn't. So, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> it could have been. That's every competitive first person shooter experience ever. Man, I could have. Oh, man, I could have. Damn, what if I did? Oh, it would have been so good. <laughs> Come here, May. You frosty little... Oh, this is bad. I'm taking damage from a lot of different places. No, oh, there goes Hanzo. That was a nice play. I've actually got to spend quite a bit of time playing Hanzo, and I've really come to appreciate his ult is not just a way to take down multiple targets. And I think I've talked about this so many times in the past. With ults, man, is like, you know, it's about the VIP. It's not always about hunting down and trying to crush, you know, just as many people as you possibly can. Sometimes it's about taking down the VIP. And if you got to use your ult to drop, uh, you know, one one player, someone like Reinhardt, a tank that is seriously, you know, impeding your team's progress, then do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's all I can say about it. Oh, that was a fail. Okay, we got about eight more seconds before we can pop that again. We could have, we could have had a good situation there. That's my buddy messaging me because I'm supposed to be playing right now, but I was like, I just want to get one more video. I just want to, I want to work on one more video. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh no, we got a res. We got a res. Res is up. We got to chase down Junker out right here. I'd love to get behind. Okay, we are behind them. Come on, Junker. Oh, there we go. Well played. Well played, Genji. Oh, Genji got taken out, though. We're just, we're just rolling in, man. Looking, looking real classy. If you listen closely, you can hear the VIP in the car, you know, making a lot of statements as to why he hired you to escort his, to escort his ride, man. You're not a movie star. You're a hero. I need you to escort my ride. Oh, that's not good. All right, here's the deal, here's the deal, here's the deal. Ooh, that's a well-placed Bastion right there. It's somebody, oh, their team lost a guy, that's sad. I don't know if people are getting disconnection errors. I've definitely seen people reporting on disconnection errors, and I'd hope that that is the case, but I've had a, quite a few people dropping out of matches, which has been thoroughly disappointing. Not something I've been entirely happy about seeing. On, on either side, you know? You never want to see another team you know, the team you're facing lose a player and then have the match go downhill. I, I like the good matches, the close ones, you know? I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes and just mash these people to death. That's no fun whatsoever. Sorry, Hanzo. That was a hell of a throw on my part, though. You got to give me that one. <laughs> All right, heavens. It's you and me. We're going in for the kill. We're not, we're not going to land the kill, but things are looking rough for us. I'm going to try and survive, and then we're going to die. <laughs> we got to get in there and get that Bastion. I haven't used my ult, and I know I probably should have dropped it by now, because I could have had a second ult, but I'm just so focused on landing that perfect ult. It's not really necessary, though, because we're constantly progressing, so that's working pretty well. The big thing that a lot of people forget, um, something they need to recognize, with escort objectives is that you just need to get on the objective. This is one of those instances, you know, that's really all that matters. Getting in, I'm getting there. Come on, guys. No, you don't, Mercy. We got Genjis everywhere. We've got Reinhardt's. We got a kill. <laughs> it's just absolutely ballistic in there. Oh, I love it. 
This game seriously makes me giddy. I don't think you guys hear me laugh like this very often, but this is the Tony Mo ultimate laugh when I'm just having way too much freaking fun, and also when I'm possibly a little bit overtired. Just a, just a little bit. I will admit though, I've had a lot of energy the past month and a half now. My brother and I have both been um, focusing on a intermittent fasting diet, which has been really great, you know, combined with the like, typical nightly workout that I do. So much energy, man. It's been great for YouTube for me. I've seriously been able to make more content. I felt better when I've been doing commentary. Just, you know, you know personal energy, mental and, you know, physical is huge part of being able to, you know, keep doing things like YouTube. I think it's, it's, you need those two things to come together, right? You can have mental, you know, strength, and you can have mental energy, but if you don't have the physical side of it, then you're worn down by one or the other. You know, you need both of them. And I think that's one of those sort of hidden keys to, like, being successful at anything. You know, YouTube or any sort of entrepreneurial type thing, or even just your normal day job. Like, you're not going to be able to perform well at your normal day job, you know, if you're not up to par mentally and physically. So basically, what I'm saying at the end of this video is stay healthy. Take care of yourself, mentally and physically. I don't know who to go through. 63% hook accuracy is pretty impressive, and unfortunately, I didn't get to press anybody. I'm writing that three stars all the freaking way. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and leave the game. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me tonight for a little bit of Overwatch. Definitely look forward to more live commentaries here on the channel. Of course, more noob tips, gameplay discussion, lots of awesome stuff coming your way with Overwatch. I can't get enough of it. Of course, we'll also be checking out some other games. I plan to look at the Divisions 1.2 update sometime tomorrow on my day off. I enjoy a little bit of the sun, play some more Overwatch, eventually eat at some point during the course of the day. Really what I want to hear from you guys is how you've been enjoying Overwatch over the last couple of days. That's really the big question I'd like to hear from you guys. You know, what are you... Are there any heroes that you're having trouble with? Are there any heroes that you're particularly finding yourself successful with? Um... You know how things have been going for you? Are you playing alone? Are you playing with friends? Is there anything that you're struggling with that you'd like to talk about? You know, sometimes you just need the collective thoughts of all the people in the comment section to maybe help throw you a few tips or a few bits of pieces of information that could help you have a better day. I think one of the things I'd like to talk about in the very near future is do a sort of advanced guide on mouse sensitivity in DPI settings because a lot of people aren't aware of those things. And even though some people are trying to coin Overwatch as a less hardcore competitive first-person shooter when compared to something like Counter-Strike, there's no doubt that there are still heroes in the game that require high precision and that consistently landing shots, even with someone like 76, is going to make a huge difference to your overall capabilities as an Overwatch player. So that's something I look forward to talking about in the near future. As I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great night, day, weekend, evening, whatever it is for you. And I'll see you in the next one.